Partners. Welcome to our first chapter of Plantation Management Operation, Massive Open Online Course Channel. As you have been told, nursery is going to be our first chapter for this course. So behind me, this is oil pump nursery. What are the importance of nursery? Firstly, it is to ensure the successful growth of germinated seed, rummets, and seedling before actual field planting. Secondly, it is to maximize the chances of germinating a premium quality of oil pump germinated seed or seedling, whereby it starts first with the nursery site selection and nursery site preparation. What will be the important aspects need to be considered when selecting and preparing a nursery? Now, let's take a look. For nursery site selection, the first factor that you have to take into consideration is the site selected must have legal rights for, ag for agriculture processes. Secondly, the site must not be prone to flooding or water logging. Third factor is the area must be a flat area or gentle slope with a, grad with a gradient not more than 15 degrees. Four, the area must be near to a water source to ensure continuous and sufficient supply for irrigation. And lastly, the site should be accessible by any kind of motor or vehicles to enter and exit from the premise. For nursery site preparation, it must be taken into account that the site shall be completely cleared and clean from any kind of vegetation. Secondly, the site shall be open, area and free from permanent shade. Thirdly, adequate drainage system to be constructed to drain excess water. Fourthly, construction of sufficient access route and working path for easy transportation of planting materials. And lastly, which is the most important part, the site must be fenced. have two types of nursery. One is single stage, two is double stage nursery. So single stage nursery where germinated seed is planted direct into large poly bags and it is practically to be done when dealing with small amount of seed. And double stage nursery we develop development of seedling in small polybag up to 3-4 leaf stage or 3 months after germinated seed planted and then we transplanting into large polybags we call it as a main nursery and it is very practical when dealing with large amount of seedling so the, the decision to adopt single stage or double stage nursery depend on the suitable of the land, manpower and other things. Basically, there are eight important aspects need to be considered when we are deal with the pre-nursery. The first one is the type of polybag. The type of polybag which are commonly used during nursery establishment is black polyethylene with a size of 6 times 9. The second type of polybag which has been used is a pot tray and other suitable containers.
The third important aspect when establish a pre-nursery is a arrangement of polybag itself. The polybag should be correctly arranged in an upright position in the pre-nursery bag. Planters also need to ensure there will be no spacing between polybags in the pre-nursery. The other important aspect when establish a pre-nursery is a planting of germination seeds or ramets. Please ensure the germinated seed shall be planted at approximately 2 cm depth with the roots pointing downwards and the shoots pointing upwards. Please also ensure that germinated seeds shall be carefully covered with a thin layer of a growing medium and shall not be compacted or pressed down too hard. Please also be ensured that when all the plant when all the germinated seed has been planted, it should be watered well. The next important aspect when we are dealing with oil palm pre nursery is a watering process. We also need to ensure all seed leaks or amet shall receive a sufficient water until they are ready for transplanting to the main nurseries. We also need to ensure that every seedlings in the oil palm pre-nursery shall receive waters twice a day. Basically, when we are establish the pre-nursery, there are two types of irrigation that commonly been used. The first one is sprinkler and the another one is a sumi sansui. Another important aspect when establishing a pre nursery, we need to ensure all germinated seeds and ramen should be provided with balanced and suitable fertilizers. The type quantities of the fertilizer that will be given to the germinated seeds and ramets is depending on the size, soil use and the requirement of germinated seeds or ramets itself. The other important aspect when we deal with the pre-nursery is a weed control. Please ensure that the use of herbicide should be avoided at the pre-nursery to minimize damage to the germinated seeds and ramets. Weeds inside the polybag should be removed manually. This one all ramet lah. This is the ramet. This is by Masjid Tala. The other important aspect when we are deal with the pre nursery is a pest and disease management. Pest and disease management control in nursery much depends on the routine inspection and appropriate treatment measures when this is required. Implementation effective inspections and treatment measures is to minimize a germinated seeds or ramets damage caused by pest and disease. So this is the example of the seedlings which has been damaged by pests and disease infestations. Okay, so this is two samples of Kuvularia spotted seedling. This seedling is showing the symptoms of Kuvularia. We can spot that there are many types of spots, yes, brown spots on the leaflets and the first symptom to observe if this ceiling is 
damage with Kuvularia or not, we will look on the first emerging shoot or the plumol in this case. Shoot or plumol? Shoot, shoot, yeah. So, meanwhile, the second seedling sling that I have here is the sample which is in a good, in a better condition, which means this is improved condition. You can observe that the shoot here is fresh and not affected by any kind of brown spots like this spot. So this is a better condition of Kuvularia. There are eight important aspects need to be considered when deal with main nursery, which is one type of polybag. Black polythene perforated with the size not less than 38 cm x 45 cm. Polybag with the size not less than 30 cm x 38 cm also may be used provided the seedling and ramets use not exceeding 11 months after sowing of germinated seeds or ramets. 2. Fillings of polybags. The polybags or container should be filled compactly with the growing medium and water daily. As growing medium settles, the polybag sh should be topped up should be topped up with growing medium up to 2 cm below the upper edge of the polybag before transplanting of seedling or ramets from pre-nursery. 3. Arrangement of polybags. The polybag should be arranged in the field in the field at 0 0.9 meter times 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 in triangular spacing. And for transplanting in double stage nursery, pre nursery ceiling or remit should be transplanted into large polybags at the age of not more than four months. And seedling or ramet from the small polybags or other poly planting container together with the growing medium core should be placed at the center of the large polybag. Immediately after transplanting, the seedling or ramet should be watered to avoid any transplanting shock to the seedling or ramet. Five. Five. Watering. To ensure all seedlings or ramet shall receive sufficient water until at main nursery with the average of water received by each seedling 2 liter per day and the irrigation system uh, example like overhead sprinkler drip irrigation or sumi sensor 6 fertilizer all seedlings or ramet should be provided with sufficient and balanced fertilizer until they are ready for transplanting. The type and rate of fertilizer applied should be in accordance with science-based recommendations by a competent agriculturist subject to the seedlings or ramet's requirement and the type of the soil that has been used. 7. Weed control. Weed in polybag should be removed manually and weed in between rows should be removed manually or treated by spraying a proof herbicide using appropriate nozzle. Size, weight of the herbicide used very depends on the type of the weed emergence at main nursery. 8. Pest and disease. Pest and disease control in nurseries must depend on routine inspection and appropriate treatment measures when these are required. Implementation effective inspection and treatment measures is to minimize seedlings or remedies damage caused by pests and disease. Hi, we meet again. So we are still at the nursery stage and today with me uh, is our worker who is going to do uh, weeding on our main nursery. However, please bear in mind that PPE protective, sorry, personal protective equipment is very important when you want to conduct any kind of activities in oil pump estate operation. 
So this is how a fully attired PPE on one worker. As you can see, everything is covered from top until toe, which is from the helmet to cover the head, the mask fully covered of your respiration system, your apron, and definitely you will need a glove, and if possible, this kind of glove, which is uh, uh, 3M glove. Yes, and lastly is definitely the safety belt. So, Encik, can you please start a demonstration of how we need to do that? Culling of abnormal seedlings or remets should be done at least three times for seedlings age of three to four months in the pre-nursery, seven to eight months in main nursery, and also 10 to 12 months or prior to field planting. So these are three common abnormal seedlings in main nursery. So number one is Run. Uh, two is white internode. You can see that the white in this angle, and third is juvenile. 